There are three star coins to find in Sparkling Waters 1, Water Spout Beach. After crossing the long pipe, leap from the third water spout ahead to reach star coin number 1. It's best to be Ice Mario for star coin number 2. The easiest way to get it is by freezing the nearby crab and then sliding him along the water spout right into the coin. Alternatively, you can freeze the fish below and use its frozen body as a stepping stone. Finally, if you don't have the ice power-up or have defeated all the nearby enemies, you can also leap up to it while rising up with a water spout, but this is tricky to do. Throw the pal block near the end of the level to knock the third and final star coin loose. Just make sure to do so when the third water spout is active to avoid the coin meeting a watery fate. You'll be looking for three star coins in Sparkling Waters 2 Tropical Refresher. After passing these two tilting pipes, hang around by the next trio for the first star coin to make its appearance. When you reach the first sea urchin after the checkpoint, explore a hidden area inside the landmass just past it to find a switch. Activate it to cause the second star coin to drop down. Immediately after, take the nearby warp pipe below the next sea urchin. Grab the star from the question block here, then quickly exit through the other pipe. Hurry up and hit the next question block while you're still invincible to reveal another star. Grab it and quickly swim into the next green pipe ahead. Assuming you were quick enough, you should be able to take down the large sea urchin here, allowing access to the third and final star coin below. Sparkling Water's giant skewer tower is hiding three star coins. When you reach the first path blocking skewer, wait for it to recede, then swim left into the area it occupied, then up to find the first star coin. As you exit the water, look for the second star coin just above. Either use a note blocks or leap from the nearby ledge to reach it. The third and final star coin is located just above the first skewer past the checkpoint. Use the note blocks to nab it. Sparkling Water's haunted shipwreck contains three star coins and a hidden exit. At the end of the first room, you'll catch a ride in a large floating block. But instead of getting off of the top floor, use it to reach a hidden area just below containing the first star coin. In the next room, you'll find the second star coin just above the third set of circling boots. After entering the third room, get a running jump from the second ledge to reach a hidden one on the left containing the third and final star coin. This level also contains a secret exit, and you'll find it in the same room as the third star coin. To find it, work your way up to the signpost. Once there, jump up to the ledge on the right and head to the far end to give yourself some running room. Then run back toward the sign and jump as you pass it. Perform a couple of wall jumps immediately after to reach a secret area with a door. It eventually leads to the level's hidden flagpole, which reveals the path to Sparkling Water's secret level, Skyward Stock. And beating that will unlock a secret shortcut of Rock Candy Mines, allowing you to bypass Soda Jungle entirely. If you found the secret exit in Sparkling Water's Haunted Shipwreck, then you'll have three star coins to find in Sparkling Water's Skyward Stock. You'll find the first star coin on the left, just opposite of the first pair of question blocks. Look for a cloud-covered area on the left, just above the first green pipe. You'll find the second star coin hidden there. The final star coin is located just a bit further ahead on the right. There are three star coins to find in Sparkling Water's 3 above the Cheap Cheap Seas. For the first star coin, just ride the right side of the nearby scale down and hurry across the dropping platforms. After the checkpoint, drop into the second gap once the water spout recedes and hurry along the dropping platforms to the second star coin. You're going to need Yoshi for the third star coin. When you reach the trio of scales near the end of the level, way down the right side to the last one low enough so that Yoshi can use his flutter jump to reach the warp pipe. If you end up falling short, remember that you can sacrifice Yoshi by spin jumping off of him for some extra distance. After warping, you'll find the PAL block that will release the third and final star coin. But it's best to get into position on the right side of the area first before throwing it, as the coin might fall to its doom if you don't get there quickly enough. You'll be looking for three star coins in Sparkling Waters 4, Urchin Shoals. Because all three star coins require you to be Mini Mario, ride one of these dropping platforms down to the area below and hit the block for a Mini Mushroom. Use it to run on top of the water through the narrow corridor ahead for the first star coin. Immediately after, you'll find a mini warp pipe just above that only Mini Mario can access. Right on top of the nearby water spout to reach it. Inside, you'll find the second star coin. After the checkpoint, you'll pass over a warp pipe followed by some sea urchins. As Mini Mario, wait for the sea urchins to drop, then run along the water and stop right next to the warp pipe. Now carefully ride the last water spout up to the pipe while avoiding the sea urchin. Do you remember how I said you needed to be Mini Mario? Well, for this one, you can actually reach it as Super Mario 2, but you'll probably have to endure some damage along the way. Either way, you'll find the third and final star coin after warping. Just watch out for the sea urchins. Sparkling Waters 5, Dragon Eel's Undersea Grotto has three star coins to find. To reach the first star coin, quickly swim up as close to the pipe as you can to avoid being blasted back. 
Start coin number two is just past the checkpoint, but you'll need to be Super Mario to reach it. Just bust through the bottom row of bricks to gain access. Shortly after passing the red coin ring, you'll find a red pipe that you can enter. It leads to the third and final star coin. There are three star coins to find in Sparkling Water's Larry's Torpedo Castle. After passing the first gate segment, you'll find star coin number one above. Wait for the flames to recede before leaping from the blocks to the left wall where you can then wall jump into the coin. The second star coin is just past the checkpoint. To get at it, continue onward to a gap in the blocks below. Wait for Torpedo Ted to pass by before swimming to it quickly. The third and final star coin is located in the next room. Climb up the center of the fence that extends from the ceiling to find it in a hidden alcove. If you're having trouble reaching any of the star coins in the game, try returning either with a flying squirrel suit or a pink baby Yoshi. Both of their flight abilities should be a huge help. Or, if you're playing with a Wii Remote, remember that you can use the gamepad at any time to create a series of platforms leading right to your prize.